Um, another year at Kentucky Country Day is still lighting up the scoreboard. The Bearcats came into tonight's game against Bullet East, averaging 37 points per game. KCD traveling south for a date with the Chargers of Bullet East. Second quarter, Chargers lead 12 to nothing. Aaron Adams facing fourth and long in the red zone, but we'll find Daniel Gilbert for six. Bullet East goes up 20 to nothing. Next drive, KCD looking to respond. Bearcats in the red zone. Nathan Caldwell keeps it himself, runs right, and finds pay dirt. He definitely scores. It is now 20 to 7. Fourth quarter, Travis Egan in at QB for Bullet East. Finds Gilbert, who takes it 45 yards to the hoose. Chargers now up 28 to 7. But KCD not done yet. Trailing 28 13. Russo out to Jalen Todd, who hauls in the 40 yard TD. KCD now trails 28 21. Less than two minutes to play. KCD gets the ball back. Russo. Finds Xavier Douglas, but Travis Egan is there. Knocks the ball out. Refs say it's a fumble. Chargers fall on it to hang on for the victory. 28-21. Dennis Ting has more from Bullet East. For three quarters and a half, the Chargers of Bullet East were in firm control of this game, but they saw their lead slip away. At the end, it came down to a defensive stop for them to clinch the win over KCD. And coach says it's those final plays that really shows the character of this young team. For a young team to be able to be in a dogfight uh, against a, as fundamental football team as there is in the state of Kentucky was what we needed. This is exactly the game we needed in many fashions and, and you know, back and forth a little bit, jumping out to a lead, but, but ultimately our, our, our experience and moments helped us big time tonight. So for our kids, especially with as many kids as we've got that are brand new or, you know, didn't have any experience last year, some of our older kids really played well tonight, and that's what we needed. That's what we challenged them to do. And the kids that experienced from last year really helped us shine. And even though it is October, Coach says given all the unusual circumstances this year, it still kind of feels like the beginning of the season. But he says that's no excuse, and this team has a lot of growing up to do if they look to have success moving forward. At Bullet East, Dennis Tang, WHAS 11 News.